what up? It's your boy D from D&J Movie Reviews. Today, we're going to do the review on The Conjuring. The devil made me do it. Sorry that my homeboy Jay wasn't here today. He is actually at work making that money. Salute to you. So, let's jump right into it. And don't forget to hit that like and don't forget to hit that subscribe. So, here we go. I'm going to give you my pros and I'm going to give you my cons on it. So, what I liked about the movie was... The action. Some of the action was great. Definitely when the kid got in the bathtub and all the blood was coming off on him. Then the family went upstairs and he was standing up and he actually ran after his dad and stabbed his dad. Then Ed took him downstairs and you can see the scratch marks on the wall. I love that. That was great. That was awesome. I like that. And I like when they put him on the kitchen table and he turned into a pretzel. Yo, that's a strong demon going to make your body turn into a pretzel. That's crazy. So then another part I actually liked on it was when he jumped on Ed and he said, I'll make your heart stop, old man. That was awesome. That was good. A demon can make your heart stop. And he did it. And he had and Ed had a heart attack. So but I did like the courage of the older gentleman. Um the little kid's sister's boyfriend, you know, tell him to, you know, take me instead and leave the, and leave the little kid alone. I like that bravery, but sometimes you're going to have to know. And like Ed told him, don't do that. And what happened when he said, don't do that? The demon jumped from the kid to the other, the, to the older, uh, the older gentleman. So that was crazy. And another good part I actually like is Lorraine always stayed by her husband's side the whole time. That was great. I love that part. And she made sure that, you know, if Ed's in the hospital, I'm going to be right there. She said, this is family and I'm not going nowhere. I liked how the daughter was there actually with them also. But I wish the daughter was in the movie a little bit more. And, and, but I liked how Ed got up and actually said, you know, you need to call the family because it's after the other kid because, you know, he told him, you know, take me instead. I really liked that. That was really, you know, really good. I'm glad that he called up and actually told Lorraine to actually get a hold of the other, get a hold of the family to see. But then when the demon got into the older kid, I really liked. And so he was started going crazy. I mean, he looked pale already without the demon inside of him. He already looked pale. So that's what that's something that I really did like about the movie. Uh, another thing I liked about the movie is that, you know, it, it was it was a love. You could tell there was love, always been strong love between Lorraine and Ed. And I, that's something I really like since there was, you know, teenagers when she said that she went to the movie theater, he was the ticket holder. And, you know, they, you know, they hung out that whole night, even in the rain and so under the, um, I don't know what you call it, um, canopy or whatever it is. I'm sorry that, you know, I don't know what it is, you know, leave a comment to tell me, you know, what was that thing called that they was actually kissing under my mind's going blank. Um, let's see. And Lorraine was not scared because one part I really liked about it is when Ed was, when they was down, you know, out of the house and I was going into the, uh, the, the, um, the cellar. And he said, you know, you're going to get your dress, you know, dirty. And she was like, hold my purse. And, you know, the rat scared her a little bit, but she, they found out what really happened and how the demon got in the little kid so that's really great and you know Lorreen was was always there i really like that that was great um another part i actually like is when they was in the morgue and they had to figure out you know how did the girl drowned so you know they went to the woods and you saw how, you know, they 
got everything out and she was, you know, bending down on the knees and actually looking and actually, you know, seeing all what happened. And I'm glad that she has that power. And, you know, and the girl stabbed her friend 22 times also. But what I did like about it is when the cop was trying to, you know, call her bluff and was like, yo, what knife was it? If you tell me the knife that killed the teenager, the teenage girl, I'll help you. And you know what? Don't play with Lorraine. Lorraine is a G. Lorraine was like, it's that one. And she was like, and he was like, all right, let's go. And when I was driving in the car and actually was saying, uh, Lorraine's like, you missed a spot. You know, you missed the turn and the cop turned around. So don't play with Lorraine. Lorraine was, Lorraine is a G. Lorraine was, was great. I really like, you know, I liked her. I liked her in Conjuring 1 and Conjuring 2. Um, but when they was in the morgue and she, she saw the lady who was actually over it and was actually possessing the teenage kid, the teenage, you know, kid or the adult kid. I don't, I forgot his name. Um, so she had, she couldn't break connection, but when the witch or when the person who was actually doing it, the, and we found, actually we found out who she was. She was the daughter of the person, the older, the older gentleman in the cult who was actually trying to stop the cult. So we actually found out that who she was, she was the daughter. And so another thing I really liked about it is now this is my pros. And, you know, at the end, when she came and actually blew the dust in Ed's face and Ed couldn't see, but he was swinging and swinging and swinging the, uh, the hammer to actually kill Lorraine. But what's so smart about Lorraine is that Lorraine was actually moving towards the table so he can hit the table and break the connection. And so that was a smart one, but Lorraine always was talking to him and say, and everybody's like, love is the one that's gonna push us away, but love gave, got us closer, got us together. I really like that. And Lorraine had a big, big thing about love loving her family. I really did like that. That was great. So then what another thing I actually liked it, liked about the movie is she was, she was great. She, I, I just love her. I mean, she was good in The Conjuring 1, in The Conjuring 2. Um, let's see what else. Let's see. It was, it was a long movie. I definitely, Okay, so my cons I didn't like is that it could have been more suspenseful, a little bit more, a little bit more suspenseful and a little bit more scarier, like The Conjuring 1 and The Conjuring 2. There was some parts in The Conjuring 3 that was like, oh my God, you know, it, this is crazy. I, I don't, you know, you know, I have to close my eyes, but I wasn't scared in this movie. That's one thing I, I was building up the hype that I'm going to be scared of, about this movie. And I really wasn't scared about this movie. That's what got me is that I wasn't scared. You know, I was like all my friends was waiting to see this movie. And like I asked them, I was like, was y'all scared in this movie? And they said, like, no, when I get scared about a movie, I usually close my eyes or put my fingers or have my hand around my fingers and spread them open to, you know, make sure I don't miss anything. But if something really scary happens, I close them. So that's just me. Don't judge me. That's just how I am. So that, that, that was my cons. I wish it was just a little bit scarier. And you could tell that it was just almost like, you know, each and every conjuring that actually came out, the conjuring one and the conjuring two. And honestly, I, I'll give it a C. I don't think it's better than The Conjuring 1 or The Conjuring 2. My favorite one is The Conjuring 2. So that's something that, you know, that's, you know, that's my opinion. Y'all tell me, you know, which one did y'all like? The Conjuring 1, 2, or 3? But that's, that's just me. Um, but, you know, it, it was like a, it was like a scary love story. 
And, uh, you know, but, oh, and another thing I did like about the movie is that when he got out of the cellar and he said, I forgot my pills and Lorraine opened her locket and she had her pill. So you could tell Lorraine always had her husband's back from day one, from the Conjuring 1 and the Conjuring 2. Always had her husband's back. And when y'all don't believe, when people say there's no real love, seeing them two, that's real love right there. So, I mean, I liked it. I liked the movie. But again, there was, so I wish it was just a little bit scarier. Just a little bit scarier. And it would have been perfect. Perfect. So, again, this is your boy D. Again, I'm sorry that my boy Justin, you know, was not here. I apologize. So, don't forget to hit that like and don't forget to hit that subscribe. You know, you can follow me on Facebook and you can follow me on Instagram. So, it's your boy D. Y'all take care. Be safe. Oh, the next one review I'm actually going to do is Escape Room 2. Going, escape, uh, escape room one was my favorite so we're gonna do the second one so y'all sit back and wait on that one i got you y'all have a good day